What up everybody? Instructor Beats back again here today with another place value lesson. Today we're going to hop right into our objective. All right. So our objective today, today we'll be able to figure out the difference between two digits and two different positions in a number and just kind of re review, right? We have our ones, our tens, our tenths, right? Our hundreds, our hundredths, thousands, thousandths. 10,000, 10,000, 100,000, and 100,000. Nice symmetry there. And our place values, right, are all based on our powers of 10, right? So that'd be 10. 10 to the second power is 10 times 10, right? 10 to the third power would be 10 times 10 times 10, right, which is 1,000. 10 to the fourth power, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 which is 10 thousands place, right? And then 10 to the fifth power, and I won't write it there, but we know that would be a hundred thousand. There's a reason I'm writing the exponent form down here, um, and we'll talk about that in a second. And of course we have 10 to the negative first, which would be one tenth, hence the tenths place. 10 to the negative, oh, that doesn't look good. There we go, negative one, negative uh, second power, right? Which would be one tenth times one tenth. 10 to the negative third power, 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth. 10 to the negative fourth power, which I'm just gonna go ahead and write the fraction, 1 ten thousandths place, and then 10 to the negative fifth power. So we've talked about this a lot, you're probably tired of hearing it, um, but there's a reason we're talking about this, right? And if you remember, as we move to the right, or sorry, to the left, we are getting bigger times 10. So I forgot my one right there, right? bigger times 10. That's why I wrote the exponent here, because we have our 10, but then we are multiplying by 10 again, right? Then we have bigger times 10 gets me to the thousands, right? We already had our 10 times 10, which was our 100. We had to multiply that by another 10. So you kind of see, right? We just added another 10. We had our 10 times 10 times 10, added another 10. We get bigger times 10 to the left, right? And it goes even for the decimal places, although it's kind of conceptually a little bit harder to understand the decimals, I think. Um, then the whole numbers, just because we work with whole numbers our whole life. And then as we move back to the right, we're getting bigger times one tenth, or sorry, not bigger, we're getting one tenth the size. So we're actually multiplying by one tenth or dividing by one tenth, right? That is an important distinction right there. So if you went from the ones to the hundreds, right, you got times, uh, you got 100 times bigger because you had to go 10 times 10 right? If you went from the hundredths to the tens, right? You had to go times 10, times 10, that's 100, and then multiply that times another 10. So 10 is 1,000 times bigger than a hundredth, okay? Right? And so just that place value understanding will make this a lot easier today. So this lesson is really all about a specific question that you might see in a test, right? How much bigger is the red digit than the blue digit? Okay, so figuring it out the long way, this is a pretty simple question. We know that this is three is in the 10 thousands place, right? It's in the first, second, third, fourth position to the left of the ones place, going back to what we talked about before. So we know that this is 30,000, right? And we know that the three, the blue three is worth uh, um, 300, right? So the question says how much bigger really should say how many times bigger, sorry, how many times, there you go, just how many, there you go, how many times bigger is the red digit than the blue digit? So 300 times what is going to equal 30,000, right? We're just looking, how many times bigger is it? Well, a couple ways you could do it. You could count your zeros and add zeros. You could rewrite this as a division equation, right, and divide this cross out your zeros, and then you'd have 300 divided by three, which would be, oops, sorry, 100. Or you could have just said, okay, I have two zeros already, I need to add two more, so I'm gonna multiply by 100 using the knowledge from last lesson. But the answer is, it is 100 times bigger, right? Or if you wanted to say it the other way, the blue three is one 100 the size of the red three. Say you could see you could say it either way. Now that's kind of you know that's some math it takes a little bit. Really, you could just use your place value understanding. This is the same digit, so it's three groups of something, and it is going from the hundreds place to the ten thousands. And we know as you move, right, you're getting bigger times ten. So you, if you want to move it from the blue three to the red three, you would need to make move it two times, so ten times ten, which would be 
a hundred times bigger. So if you can just count your place values, that makes this a lot easier, which is why we did all the place value understanding. Let's take a look at another one. How much bigger is the red digit than the blue digit? So our red digit is worth nine. Our blue digit, right, is worth nine tenths because it's in the tenths place. Okay, so nine tenths times what is going to get me nine? I see I need to move my decimal one place over to the right. That's why we did that lesson before. So I need to multiply this times 10. You could have also wrote it like this, right, and divided by nine tenths, but you're still going to come up with the answer 10. All right. Now, if you just did your place value understanding, you know that you just went one place value to the left, and each time you move to the left, that's 10 times bigger. So I know that the red nine or nine is 10 times bigger than the blue nine. It all comes back to whether or not you understand place values and how we are a base 10 number system. So this you try problem is a little bit different. Okay, you have to write it out. Okay, so this should be in your notes, but I want you to pause the video. I want you to use your place value understanding to write out your answer to this and explain how you know. Okay, so don't just write the answer, but explain how you know. All right, so go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're ready to check your work. So hopefully you just paused it. All right, so it says if the four in 214,000 is moved one place to the right. Okay, so right now it is 4,000 and we want to turn it into 400, right? Because if you moved it one place to the right, it'd be in the 100 spot, okay? So how does the value of four change? Well, it changes because it goes from 4,000 to 400, right? You could say that, okay? You could say that it got, because you're moving it one place value to the right, you know, because you're going to a smaller place value, right? It's one tenth of size. So what I would say is um, it would be, one-tenth the size of 4,000. And that could be your explanation, right? You could even write down it would be one-tenth the size of 4,000 because it had to move one place value to the right. And each time you move a place value to the right, you are getting smaller by one-tenth, all right? Now this one, same number, same digit, is it, if the 4,214,678 is moved two places to the left, how does the value of four change? So instead of being 4,000, right, we're going to move it two places to the left, which would turn it into 400,000. So how does the value change? Well, it changes from 4,000 to 400,000. But I would say because we moved it two places to the left, right, and each place value is going to get 10 times bigger, it would be 100 times bigger than 4,000. And then you want to write an explanation of because you moved it four places to the left, or if you want to prove it mathematically, you could say, well, it went from 4,000 to 400,000, so it had to get 100 times bigger, right? You can use your place value knowledge or your math knowledge to help you out with those. So that's just a quick lesson because there's going to be, you're going to see that kind of specific question um, on tests. And so we wanted to kind of make sure that we just touched on how to answer those because they're not hard questions, but they're kind of wordy and it could be confusing if you hadn't seen one before. All right. So obviously like, subscribe, and let us know where you're watching from. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats out.